Hello everybody, my name is Rymas and welcome to this video about the Diablo 4 livestream Q&A on Twitter yesterday. So this video will be a wrap up of some of the questions uh, that was answered yesterday with some new information that we have been waiting for, well, maybe for a long time now. Uh, I will not cover all of the questions as some of the question was something that we have known for years. And I also have simplified the questions and the answers. So if you're watching the live stream or the recording of the live stream, um, the answers will be much longer than the ones that I'm going to show you in this video. But uh, let's get started. So the first question, will we be able to save character customization and carry it over to launch? And the answer was no, that will not be possible but you might take a screenshot of your configuration. So question number two, which languages will be available in the beta? And the answer was, there will be 30 languages when the game launches. There might be missing some languages in the beta. So on the uh, live stream, they wasn't quite sure if all the languages will be in the beta. So we will just have to find out, I guess. Question number three, what could we expect in terms of crafting system in the beta? And the answer was, crafting will be available in the beta. Crafting is focused on item modification. You will be able to upgrade the power of your items at the blacksmith. A lot of the crafting system makes sense into endgame. And this is of course due to, well, you are switching your gear back and forth when you're finding new gear in early game uh, often. So it just makes more sense in the in game to modify your, your gear because you will wear it longer time. Question number four. Is the server region separated? And the answer was, you will most likely see other players in your world slash instances that are closest to you geographically due to low latency, but you can group up with anyone from anywhere in the world. So question number five, how will a skill like the Meteor work with a controller? And the answer was, you will be able to lock on a specific target and cycle between monsters quickly. You can also cast a spell without locking in a target and the Meteor will fall on the most ideal place to be most effective. And basically, they talked a lot about the controller and uh, they just put a lot, a lot of work into making it feel a, like a good experience and that you have a choice to where your skill uh, will be cast at. Question number six. Anything about Lilith? I want to know more about her. And they answered, you will know a lot about Lilith by playing the beta. She is the key figure of, this, of the history. So during the beta, we will have access to what they define as Act 1. And we'll be able to do the all the quest lines in Act 1. And since the story is about Lilith, well, we will know a lot more about Lilith there. Question number seven. Can you share more information about the Necromancer before the beta? And they answered, there is a reason this class keeps returning. It represents a different playstyle compared to the other classes. You can create skeleton army or sacrifice some of your army and get more power. It is a very diverse character. All right, question number eight. Will you be able to use text and voice during beta? Yes, you will. Okay, so question number nine here. What's the druid class mechanic? And they answered. The druid is closely aligned with Gosglen. When the druid is around level 15, you will be able to interact with four different spirit animals. This will unlock additional bonus for your druid. You can only choose one spirit bonus at a time, but you can change whenever you want. You unlock bonuses by collecting boons, by killing monsters. Once all four spirit is unlocked, you get access to another one, so five in total. And then they added after some time. When all the spirit is unlocked, 
you will be able to choose one boon from each spirit and two boons from one of them for a total of five. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure uh, what they meant about that, but I think it would be better for us when we see something visual. Uh, but one bad news here is that this is only available in Skosklen. So this will not be part of the beta. We will not try out the Druze class mechanic and we will have to wait for the final game. And to the final question number 10. Are we allowed to freely stream the beta? And the answer was yes. And that was it for this wrap up video of the live stream Q&A yesterday. Um, like I said, there were more questions, but those were just really generic questions that we heard like a thousand times before. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, you got some more information. And please like the video if you liked it. And um, I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.